Hi, I'm Tony, the founder of TonySourcing.com. Today I will show you how is the situation of EU toy market after coronavirus. Please subscribe to our channel so you can keep update info about China toy market. Okay, today is 2020, March 2nd. Yesterday, that's quite a lot of suppliers in the EU toy market tell me they are already back to EU market from their hometown. In the same time, quite a lot of overseas buyer customers ask me how is the situation in EU? Is it come back to normal after coronavirus? So today I just want to um, enter the EU toy market and make this video to show you. Uh, industry have still have a lot of people and car. Uh, today my partner drive me to the market, but looks like we don't have the place to to parking because really, really today have a lot of car. Okay, so I have to park my car far away and walk into the market. Now I just come to the bridge which connect the outside with the market. So everyone need to have a face mask. This is to protect yourself and protect other people. So you can see still Still a lot of people, they come back to EU. But I think enter EU, they still need a lot of control. Yeah, you see, this is the register area. So everyone need to register first. I just pass away some gate. So that's only to enter, enter for the market. Yeah. So now I just want, want to work, work to the register place to do the register. Okay, just now I already registered my, my information. So they need to have the other info about your address in you, your ID number, and the way you go for the past two weeks and do you have something situation about your body so the logist is logist is you have to take response for what you uh, provide information so if something happened you have to take the responsibility okay now we can see that's 90 percent of shop is opened yeah, ninety percent, ninety percent shop is come to come back, but I think still not come back to normal, because I check with two supplier today, um, they are accepting the order, but their factory workers still not back from their hometown, so now they just can accept order, and uh, all the order have to stand in, in line. But the market, uh, the business is going on. Nobody will know when the this situation will finish. But I think at least need uh, one month, up to months. This today because we are the company, we are the aging company, so a lot of buyers. Uh, they still need us to forward the information to the suppliers. Also, some supplier will ask us how is the order, how is the uh, customer reaction if the deliver time delay. Of course, I have some suppliers, they will send their new design, 
uh, new items by photo. So now just online send to the customers to order. Now I think still a little bit hard for physical visit here. <clears throat> if you visit you before, you will see now it's really, really very less people. So every shop, they have a side mark on the in front of their shop. If you enter the shop, you need to show them you have registered and you have a barcode. To show them the barcode, you pass. Almost. I I work through like one hour. I I don't see any overseas virus. So I think now still not so much overseas buyer will come to you. But others still have to go on because we have received quite a lot of customers. They still need a goods quite urgent. This situation uh, made the the deliver late is also a, a problem for them. Actually, the original holiday is till February 8th, but today it's already March 2nd, so the holiday delay one month. So other order have to delay, and now we're not sure. We're not sure if this still will delay later, but some customer, uh, some, <coughs> some. A supplier already tell me they can deliver the goods within 20 days, 25 days. This is their schedule. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question about EU market after coronavirus, you can leave the comment below. I can check for you.